Sometimes you want to see the processes other Linux users are running. So that might mean because you're interested if they're on your system or what they're doing or what's going on. So there's lots of troubleshooting steps you can do. So I'm logged in as a normal user and there is this thing called the last log for last login. So if I type in last, it lists a bunch of different people. You can kind of scroll through this thing right here. And you can see that it's got information about when people logged in, which is kind of in interesting. Um, you can see that um, the Joseph users logged in multiple times. You can see the reboot system has happened. Um, and you can see that currently um, Joseph is still logged in. All right. Now, if I type in W, I can see some inf interesting information. I can see these are the people like who is using the system right now. And I can see that Joseph is using the system right now. And Joseph is running a GNOME session binary thing. So that's my graphical user interface that I'm kind of in. And you can see that there is a another user, Alice, who's logged in and is editing the hello.txt file using nano. Well, that's interesting. So let's find out more. Is Alice doing something else? What else is going on with Alice? So I can do a PS, try clear. PS by itself will just list what I'm doing, but I can do PS AUX for all users on the system and I'll pipe this through less. So I can scroll through it and you can see as I press the down arrow, what processes are running and who's running them and you can see there's lots of things here lots of it's being run by root you can see that the postfix user and the color d and all these things are being run but then you see there's this whole section on alice alice apparently is running and there are a bunch of things happening here with alice so alice is running multiple different things now, that might mean that Alice is running a single program, which is the case right here. And this program is actually being run inside of a bash shell. So Alice logged in, Alice got the bash shell, Alice then ran the nano hello.txt command in order to be able to edit the, this command right here, or edit that file. You can see I am also logged in, the Joseph user, and there is quite a bit of information here about me. Now, if I wanted to look at an individual process and find out more about it, let's say this bash process. I am currently running bash, and that is running as, well, 61.13, press Q. I could do... Um, Actually, there's a bash cell right here. If I do PS right now, I can see that I've got this 5852 running. So if I want to find out more information about that one, I can go into the proc directory, so CD proc. And then if I list out all the files here, you can see there are a bunch of numbers and these different processes. So if I look at the 5852, there should be a 5852 right in here, 5852 right here. This directory has information about that process. So we go into the 5852. Now the proc directory is kind of a, a way to get into the kernel and see what's going on. It just kind of has an interface you can look at things. It's kind of part of the kernel API. So these are all kinds of things tied to that. It's saying the executable is this one right here. Um, the command line to start it is right here. Um, you can also see things such as the environment that it's got set up right here. So all these different pieces of information you can look at. And this information can then be used to do your PS command and other things like that to generate information. All right.
So if you want to uh, figure all that out, W will tell you basically what's happening, kind of what's going on just from a quick point of view. Uh, it filters it out down to basically, we can see that Alice is running Nano and I am just running a normal Ubuntu session. And you can use the PS AUX to just display everything and look at that information right there. And you can also look at the last log, last, either do less, and you can see when people logged in last. Um, it doesn't list all of them, so it's tricky, but you can kind of get an idea that I'm still logged in. And then if you also have some kind of a root access so I do sudo su dash and get over to root I can go over into the var log directory and here you can see there's a bunch of different files and sometimes you can look into these files and see information about what's actually happening um, you can look at your messages there is one messages or syslog syslog it has all these messages right here you can see things like different um, starting and stopping of daemons you can also look in here if I uh, do a grep Alice and all these files right here I can see that the Alice is in the auth log so you can look at the auth log to figure out what happened there and figure out when Alice logged in what's happening so if I do less auth log I can look in and see when people are logging in although there's quite a bit of information here um, but you can use that to kind of figure out what's going on and in this case, I will just do a search for Alice just by typing in a slash Alice. And I jump down here. You can see that the Alice user was created. You can see that she then created a new session and she changed her shell. Then she logged out. And you can see down here, she opened a new session again. And there you go. So that kind of gives you an idea of how to jump around and look at things. Um, maybe you don't understand how this all works, but if you start looking at it carefully, you can get a better idea. But this will help you figure out what users are doing on your system.